A winner Snapchat, or as they like to be called, Snap Inc. No longer just an app. The firm is releasing a hardware product called Spectacles. Spectacles lets users snap with the push of a button. Chief Strategy Officer Imran Khan told advertisers last week that Snap Inc. is not a social media company, but a camera company. He believes that reinventing the camera is Snap's greatest opportunity. With a price tag 10% that of the predecessor, Google Glass, it's easy to see that Snap Inc. gets its users. The last 24 months have been a constant march of innovation from the good people at Snap Inc., including geofilters, discover, lenses, chat, and memories. Losers Warehouse Clubs. In the past four years, the share of U.S. households only paying for a Costco membership declined from 15 to 10 percent, and members subscribing only to Sam's Club plunged from 17 to 10 percent. At the same time, the percentage of Amazon Prime-only subscribers has more than doubled from 7 to 16 percent. What a shocker. It's Amazon creating havoc with these guys. Prime is also benefiting from a new trend of households joining multiple retail clubs, 44% of U.S. households are Amazon Prime members. Think about that. If cord cutting continues in five to eight years, there'll be more households in America with a membership to Amazon Prime than have cable television. A loser of fashion insiders. After Milan Fashion Week, Vogue editors called fashion influencers and bloggers pathetic and said they were heralding the death of style. Neiman Marcus blamed bloggers for the past year of falling sales. But who's the real loser here? Fashion and retail executives stuck in the past who aren't angry at bloggers, but angry at themselves and the world because bottom line, they're becoming less relevant. Who's into fashion? Jack Dorsey and Marissa Mayer. Who's not? Mark Zuckerberg. You do the math. 100% of brands showing at Fashion Week had an Instagram account, and 70% were on Snapchat. A fifth of brands had integrated the new direct-to-consumer See Now, Buy Now runway format. The devil used to wear Prada. What does she wear now? No one gives a shit. A winner, Google. On September 27th, the search engine turned 18. So, Google, congratulations. You can drive, you can buy a bullet bike, you can serve your country, join the army, you can buy a gun, but you can't drink. That makes sense. With a market cap of $541 billion, Google is second only to Apple in value. The Google Doodle was launched in August of 98, a month prior to the company's incorporation. The first doodle inserted the Burning Man symbol behind the O as a subtle out-of-the-office message as the two founders headed to the festival. The most popular doodle, the Playable Guitar, published in June 2011. In 48 hours, 5.1 million years of music was created. We leave you with some of our favorite Google doodles. We'll see you next week. We're proud to announce L2 Glass. Subscribe now. I said, what's your problem?